This next group is super fun. They are based on the oval forms. And let's start with the O. You already know it. Let's make a big oval. And it's a little rounder than the one that we're used to from lowercase. And we want to start in the ascender height and come all the way down to the baseline and then curve up lightly and circle inside around to give it the little double downstroke. The C is done in one stroke. You have a large swoop around that covers almost the entire ascender space. So you almost want to hit the, the waistline there. And then you come down along the slant and come up and around in a light stroke again. That one's a little wide. And this one is nice and parallel. The G is a little smaller. You want the, the top in stroke loop to be a little smaller than for the C but also taking up a good amount of the ascender space. And then you have the oval towards just above the baseline, actually, not meeting the baseline. And then adding an underturn curve, like we know from the Y and the J, again, which loops over and crosses at the baseline. That is a pretty good G right there. The one on the left is a little, the first one is a little narrow and a little straight. Okay, the Q starts the other way around and basically looks like a big two. So we're still repeating a few things though. You know this from the entrance stroke. You want to make sure that it fits, that it's parallel within those 55 degree lines. And you know the swirly circle from the entrance stroke and the lower loop from the L. The E also has a nice entrance swoop and then the upper bowl is quite small and the lower bowl is a little larger also with a little light circle turn to end it there. You want the upper bowl to take up maybe a third of the ascender space and then have the middle piece hit the waistline and then the lower bowl take up most of the X height and loop around. Yeah, that E there, the line hit too low. So we want there to be some graceful breathing space in between those bowls.